Elon Musk just slammed Mercedes-Benz with an open challenge, which has just introduced its long-range Vision EQXX concept car, which has traveled over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, the greatest distance completed by an EV to date. It means that the Mercedes concept Benz's automobile is by far the most formidable competitor to Elon Musk's Tesla in the electric vehicle industry, and Musk is determined to come up with even better. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to talk about why Elon Musk just slammed the Mercedes-Benz EV claim of 1,200 kilometers. This week saw two huge electric car premieres, but one was more significant than the other. The final official reveals of the Mercedes-Benz EQS. This is the electric version of Mercedes' top-of-the-line Benz's S-Class executive vehicle. Rather than shoehorning an electric motor into an existing automobile designed for an internal combustion engine, a pure electric chassis will be utilized this time. The EQS is obviously positioned as a direct rival to Tesla's Model S and the forthcoming Lucid Air. But does it have what it takes to take on the world's most popular battery electric car platform, Slammed Musk? The virtual premiere of Mercedes-Benz on Thursday was surely impressive. Even though Bridgerton's Roger Jean Paget and actress-director Olivia Wilde were present at Audi's Q4 e-tron launch earlier in the week, it was eclipsed by what Mercedes-Benz was revealing. The EQS presentation took place all around the world and included a segment delivered by film director James Cameron, who had collaborated with Mercedes-Benz on the AVTR idea that became the EQS. The voyage from Germany to the south of France, according to the carmaker, began in chilly and wet circumstances and was completed at standard highway speeds, including extended fast lane traveling at up to 140 kilometers per hour. The battery's level of charge on arrival was about 15%, implying a remaining range of around 140 kilometers, and the average consumption was a record-breaking low of 8.7 kilowatts per hour per 100 kilometers. Elon Musk stated in a statement where he also implied that his Tesla cars can do better than this. The route profile, which included everything from highways to mountain passes and roadworks, as well as the weather conditions, faced the Vision EQXX with a range of obstacles. The Vision EQXX's lightweight design idea, according to the firm, is comprehensive, encompassing everything from the materials utilized to revolutionary bionic structures that give a favorable power-to-weight ratio. The upper half of the battery is made of a sustainable carbon fiber sugar composite material, which is also used in Formula One, while the rear floor is made using an aluminum casting method. When compared to a normally made component, the unique design approach resulted in a weight savings of up to 20%. The Mercedes-Benz EVA is the most fuel-efficient vehicle ever created. Although Elon Musk challenged the new car, mentioning the upcoming Tesla car is going to be far beyond this Mercedes car with some unparalleled features. The technical initiative that underpins it is a watershed moment in the evolution of electric cars. It supports our strategic goal of being the market leader in electric vehicles, Mercedes-Benz Group AG Chairman of the Board of Management Ola Kalenius remarked. According to the carmaker, passive cooling is sufficient during the voyage because the electric powertrain creates little waste heat due to its excellent efficiency, though Elon Musk denies it. The aerodynamically superior solution extends the range by 20 kilometers. The Vision EQXX has decisively demonstrated the real-world potential of electric cars' excellent efficiency, the firm stated. Other electric luxury sedan leaders, such as the Porsche Taycan, Audi e-tron GT, and the impending Tesla Roadster, face stiff competition from the Mercedes-Benz EV. By 2030, the carmaker wants to go completely electric, with plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles accounting for half of its global sales in 2025. By the end of the year, Mercedes will have nine models on the market, including electrified versions of its E-Class and B-Class sedans. Also, Elon Musk is working on Tesla cars to bring them to the market, stealing the spotlight from the Mercedes-Benz as fast as possible. However, with the exception of the Honda E, the final version of the EQS does not look much like the AVTR, as is generally the case when concept vehicles go into production. As a result, the EQS looks similar to modern Mercedes-Benz automobiles and has a side profile similar to the CLS Coupe from the mid-2000s. 
The front, on the other hand, is more rounded and happily does not have a typical grille. To ease the transition to electric for customers, several manufacturers maintain a superfluous grille on their electric automobiles. The fact that Mercedes-Benz has not done so is comforting. What's underlying, on the other hand, is far more radical. Because the EQS is a Mercedes first Benz automobile to be built entirely on a battery electric platform, no compromises have been made to enable a fossil fuel option. Because it enables optimal battery and motor positioning, this has been a persistent primary advantage Elon Musk's Tesla has had over its competitors. Many BEVs appear to be taller than they should be, owing to battery space constraints. However, Teslas and the EQS do not. The batteries are hidden beneath the floor and the motors are aligned with the wheels, allowing for equal weight distribution and the most cabin room possible. This leads us to one of the EQS's initial revelations. The car's first launch versions will include a massive 107.8 kilowatt per hour battery. According to Mercedes-Benz, this will deliver a WLTP range of up to 770 kilometers. In terms of range, the current Tesla Model S long range delivers 412 miles in the WLTP test, as described by Musk. The Plaid 390 miles and Tesla will only surpass Mercedes-Benz with almost 520 miles of range when the Plaid Plus comes. In other words, Mercedes-Benz is definitely trying to outperform Tesla on lengthy trips, and the industry-leading EQS's drag coefficient of 0.2 will undoubtedly assist. But Musk challenged them, saying, no one can beat Tesla models, it's too late. Another significant statement that demonstrates Mercedes' focus bends on Tesla's range capabilities has nothing to do with the automobile. Every EQS will come with a year of free Ionity charging. This is a relatively new pan-European charging network with 336 stations, including 100 in Germany, that delivers 350 kilowatt DC charging. Ionity has been chastised for its cost, but this news demonstrates what the company is actually about, creating a charging network to compete with Tesla's superchargers for luxury brands. Mercedes-Benz hopes to neutralize one of the most appealing perks of Tesla ownership by giving free Ionity charging for a year and favorable pricing after that. In this view, the high ad hoc pricing of Ionity chargers makes sense since it will deter normal cars from utilizing them while still possibly making them available, in contrast to Elon Musk's Tesla network, which is now inaccessible to non-Tesla vehicles. Unfortunately, because Ionity does not currently have a network in the United States, this will be of little value to buyers in that country. The EQS, on the other hand, has a powerful general charging capability with a base 11 kilowatt AC internal charger and a 22 kilowatt option that allows for a 10 hour or 5 hour complete charge, respectively. The 200 kilowatt DC charging capability, which enables an 80% charge in only 31 minutes and up to 188 miles of range added in just 15 minutes, is perhaps more crucial for the long haul capabilities. With a high capacity DC charger like Ionity's, the EQS can compete with Tesla's Model S and its V3 superchargers. The key area where Tesla will have nothing to worry about is performance, noted Elon Musk. So far, Mercedes-Benz has only officially revealed two EQS models, the rear-wheel drive 450 Plus with 329 horsepower and the all-wheel drive 584 Matic with 516 horsepower. These cars have 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint times of 6.2 and 4.3 seconds, which may sound quick by fossil fuel automobile standards, but fade into insignificance when the Tesla Model S long range can reach 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds, the Plaid in 1.99 seconds, and the Plaid Plus even faster. A 750 horsepower EQS is being developed, which may be able to beat the Tesla Model S long range, but not the 1,020 horsepower Plaid. A premium automobile, on the other hand, isn't only about sheer speed. Tesla's controversial new Yoke Model S steering wheel is only the beginning of the company's unconventional approach to interior design. Elon Musk has emphasized the current Model S's in-car entertainment capabilities, stating that it has enough capacity to play the game Cyberpunk 2077. Mercedes' new Benz's M-Bucks infotainment system, on the other hand, caters to even more people, with separate screens for back passengers as well as front passengers, all capable of delivering distinct content. German automobile interiors are already known for their high quality, and it's probable that Tesla will face stiff competition from Mercedes-Benz in this area. The EQS will have Level 3 autonomous capabilities, 
which are one level higher than the city streets, capability that Tesla is presently testing in portions of the U.S., providing complete self-driving but requiring the driver to take control if required. Mercedes-Benz has yet to reveal pricing for the EQS, but even the rear-wheel drive version will cost more than £80,000 in the UK and likely more than $73,000 base price of a Tesla Model S long range. Luxury automobile purchasers, on the other hand, do not choose one vehicle over another just because it is less expensive. There's no indication of a specific launch date other than fall-autumn 2021, with deliveries beginning in early 2022. This gets us back to our original question as Elon Musk himself posed. Can the Mercedes-Benz EQS compete with the Tesla Model S? Certainly not on a drag strip. Its competition in the US is also hampered without the Ionity network. However, in Europe, the EQS might be the premium electric car that German Autobahns have been waiting for. Although the EQS isn't a Tesla killer, it does suggest that Mercedes-Benz isn't giving up the battle in the electric age just yet. On the flip side, Musk is also coming with some grand master strokes with the new Tesla model. After all, both of these will revolutionize the EV industry as a whole, ain't it? Okay folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.